Uh, the start of the game, I thought we were pretty good. We got built a 15-point lead, then sort of lost traction mid mid second quarter, but closed the second quarter out well, and then started the third quarter. Um, you know, not well, not well. You think you guys just not ready coming out of the locker room? Yeah, you know, again, I, I would say I was disappointed, but you, the missed shots I, you can deal with, you know, and obviously the point of emphasis about the traveling. So there were a lot of, we didn't adjust, right, to, okay, they're calling tight, tight travel. So the turnovers and the rebounding were where the disappointment lied. The, the missed shots are part of the game. You can live with that. As long as you're being unselfish and you know taking the right shots, that's part of the game. But the the rebounding piece of it, you know, the turnover piece of it, that that's hard. You know, it's hard to win like that. And so we have to fix it, and we have to fix it fast. Tom, which, which, they, they made 24 threes, but they took 61. How, how much of a concern was that for you? And yeah, and and again the same thing. Like when I said, like the the rebounding piece of it. So we, we thought they would take 45 to 50, right? They ended up taking 60. And we, you got to get in, get out, challenge them. But then you also know a byproduct of, of the long shot is the long rebound. And so they had, uh, I think, 24 points off, off the offensive rebounds. And when you couple that with the, the points off the turnovers, it's hard to overcome that. So and usually we're a very... Uh, low turnover team and usually we're we're the, the the better offensive rebounding team and tonight we didn't do that and so the third quarter you know we got outscored badly bigger bigger picture and you guys are giving up more threes than any other team in the league and it's hard to look at that and, and not match that up with where you rank and just points allowed per possession like how do you believe that you guys can climb a defense while you still give up? Yeah, well, it depends on, how, like I told you, I, I look at defense probably differently than, than you guys do. You know, I do look at the things that I said, like the points in the paint is a big thing, the rim, okay, the rebounding piece is important. For me, the, the, the metric that I go by more than anything is field goal percentage and three-point field goal percentage. So I think we were... Uh, 11th in three-point field goal percentage going into the night. Now, would I like us to, to not allow as many? Yes. That's getting in and getting out. That's flying around. It's doing all those things. So, you know, I, like I said, we, we've got a lot of work to do, but like I also know that there's things that we're doing well defensively. Have you talked about the multiple efforts and getting out, getting out on guys and getting back the rebounds. Is there something still the second hit? Kind of that word intensity that you guys have seen before. It wasn't there today in that, in that second. Yeah, I, you know, like I, again, I want to look at the film before I comment on, you know, whether and that's usually the first thing you look at is okay, are we doing it hard enough? And then the second thing is the scheme being executed co correctly. Those are the two things you look at. And then if the answer is yes, we are doing it hard enough and the scheme is being executed and they're scoring, then you, you, you think about your adjustment. Otherwise, if you don't do it that way, you're going to be changing on every possession. So you, you try to identify the things that you can become good at. And then some nights, you know, you can defend the player well, like Doncic is going to put a lot of pressure on you. We knew that going in. You know, and he creates good offense and he's very unselfish. So, and the challenge for us is to give the appropriate help and then get in and get out, and then challenge the shot, then finish your defense, and then do it time after time after time after time. And so that's what we'll look at. From where you sat on the sideline, how do you think Quinn did in the first half versus Luca versus the second half? You know, and again, it's it's a 48-minute game. And as I said, the, the, the thing about the way he plays is you can defend him well, and he can still make. And so, uh, and he's all over the floor. There's different areas. You, you're going to look at him in pick and roll. You look at him in transition. You're going to look at him in the post. So you have to be ready for all those things. And then the thing that probably hurt us was the, like the scramble plays, the plays that came off of an long offensive rebound uh, or one of our turnovers. And those are the things, those those are hard plays. Live ball turnovers, those are tough to, to recover on. 
the third game time at home where you guys have had a big lead in the first half and then kind of lost going away. How, how do you explain in the same game where you play so well early and then just not? Yeah, you know, in that, in, I think it's something that you see that you're seeing that more and more in the league that uh, no leads are like a team comes down they hit three or four threes and all of a sudden they can go on a run and, that's, and they square with 41 points in the third right so you, and you can make up ground too like if you keep playing the game and you don't beat yourself you don't turn it over you don't give up the second shot you'll have a chance to come back too and so that's what you want is a consistency and that's what we have to work on is being consistent every night. We know some nights we're not going to shoot as well as others. Every team in the league is like that. But all the things that we can control in terms of the consistency is our defense, our rebounding, and not turning the ball over. You guys started up 18-6 to six with points in the paint. Um, next to top five in the league in offensive rebounding, average 29th. The, the trenches, you guys were kind of dominating that battle in that first half. In that second half, when the Mavericks kind of came back in those statistical categories and it reflected on the score, do you think, like, how did New York lose that battle in the trenches? Do you think it was a lack of focus from the players and, and their assignments in the second half, or did Dallas? Yeah, and, and, and again, I, like, you, you know, like, I want to look at the film to know exactly what transpired. But like I said, the thing that bothered me more than anything was when we gave, when we turned it over, like, that's. Some of you know some of them are travels that they call tight, but we should have adjusted to that. The live ball turnovers bothered me, and then the second shots. Like sometimes there was good initial defense, and we gave up a second. And you give a team like that a second and third crack at it, you're gonna you're gonna pay. Then we did. How do you think the team is kind of responding to this this style of play? But, I mean. You guys, you mentioned it, the inconsistency is pretty apparent. You'll have two games where it seems like you're going up and then the game t tonight like will happen. Um, how do you think the team is responding to the way that you guys are playing right now? Well, I, th I mean, you look at it in totality in terms of, okay, does this give us the best chance to win? And I think it does. And so, and uh, the bounce of the ball go different way. Like, there's probably three or, three or four more wins, you know, so. And over the course of a season, you got to believe that it works itself out. And so I want us doing the right things each and every day. Trust what we're doing. Keep working at it. If, when we fall short, I mean, we're disappointed, be, but be more determined the next time and learn from it and grow. And we have a lot of young guys that will get better as we go along. So stay the course, be strong minded, minded be determined. Uh, and every night, you, know, you see, uh, just look at the scores. There, there's crazy scores every night. All right. Thanks, Tim. Yep.